We are so fortunate to have these gems here in the Inland Northwest. We're surrounded by numerous lakes. Of course, this is City Beach out towards Lake Coeur d'Alene. And since the splash pads and the community pools, uh, the uh, park pools have all been shut down this summer. It's nice to know that we could still get out uh, to these lakes and there's plenty of room. You're able to social distance and, and enjoy that cool lake water. That does look very refreshing out at Lake Coeur d'Alene. And why wouldn't it be? We have a current temperature of 93 degrees. It's 92 over in the Lake City. Look at the heat out towards Ritzville. 100 degrees. You've got 101 down in Othello. 101 right now up in the OMAC area. 97 degrees up near Kettle Falls. Yeah, it's hot. When we take a look at the pollen allergy index, it's weeds and mold spores that are registering moderate. We're not seeing any grass or tree pollen at this particular time. Uh, satellite and radar picture again uh, for at least Washington state. You can see that uh, very little cloud cover, pretty dry. Seeing some showers and isolated thunderstorms in areas of north central Idaho and into southwestern Montana. So here we go with your 12 hour forecast. This is computer model driven. We've got a few clouds during the evening hours and it all clears out, but my God, even by the time we get to midnight and past midnight, we're still seeing temperatures in the 70s. We'll finally see overnight lows drop down into the mid 60s as we try to cool our houses down. And this is the dangerous heat. My gosh, this is like forecasting for Phoenix or Tucson, Arizona. 100 degrees, as you can see, expected out in areas of central Washington into the Tri-Cities and Grand Coulee and up towards OMAC. Uh, again, just incredible heat, dangerous heat, 101 expected in Deer Park. We'll get up to 103 here in the Spokane area, 99 over in Coeur d'Alene. So if you are working outside, uh, you, this is the kind of stuff you can't push through. You got to take frequent breaks. You got to seek the shade. You got to drink water before you're even thirsty because this is the kind of weather that will give you heat stroke. And uh, this is again, dangerous heat on the way. And not only for Thursday, but on into Friday, as you can see, with a daytime high expected of 102. And then we're back down into the 90s on Saturday and Sunday and then thankfully next week we've got got at least a few days where we'll see temperatures in the 80s. We've got more news coming up right after this quick break.